lot of ski resorts have to be happy with the snow they've been getting this weekend. Yeah, we saw some snow Friday night and some yesterday. Today, a much different story. It's going to be quieter and drier across the state. We're already waking up to clear skies here in Albuquerque. Yesterday morning, we had a lot of cloud cover, and today, temperatures a little bit colder than they were yesterday morning at this time. We're starting out at 43 degrees. Yesterday, we we're hovering in the upper 40s. Winds rather light out of the west at 6 miles per hour. Temperatures elsewhere a lot colder around the northern mountains. 23 degrees in Alamosa. That's 36 degrees in South, 39 in Los Alamos. But check out Carlsbad holding on to 63 degrees this morning and it's 48 right now in Alamogordo. Now, we had some strong gusty winds along the central mountain chain last night, especially around the midnight hour. So we had high wind warnings in effect until 7 o'clock this morning for gusts up to 60 miles per hour. Now, the good news is those winds are much lighter out there, still on the breezy side, but not gusting up to 60 miles per hour anymore. So that high wind warning will be allowed to expire in about 10 to 12 minutes. 10 mile per hour wind in Las Vegas, 12 mile per hour wind in Tucum Carry, and a light wind of 6 miles per hour here in Albuquerque. Here's the forecast for the winds as we head into the later morning hours. Still some breezy winds along the central mountain chain into eastern New Mexico. Here in the metro in Santa Fe, our winds will be on the light side. And then as we head into the later evening hours around 4 5 o'clock, you can see just a little bit of blue indicating winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour, basically in eastern New Mexico. The rest of us, the winds will be much calmer and the winds will stay on the light side for tonight and also as you head back to work on your Monday. So taking a look at the satellite and radar, yesterday morning we were talking about some snow showers. Today, much quieter around the northern mountains into southern Colorado. The disturbance that up brought the rain and the snow is now pushing off to the east northeast. Behind it, a lot of clear skies into Nevada, Arizona and California. So we're going to see a lot of sunshine for today. And that sunshine and the pleasant conditions will stick around for tomorrow and Tuesday. So it's going to be a drier day. Winds breezy at times, especially during the morning hours, but those winds will be coming down this afternoon. Then for tomorrow, temperatures well above average as we'll see a lot of sunshine and westerly flow ushering in some dry conditions. And the nice conditions will stick around for Tuesday and Wednesday. It's not until Wednesday night into Thursday that we'll watch another area of low pressure move in. That will definitely drop our temperatures by Thursday and Friday and also bring another chance for some mountain snow and valley rain showers by the end of the week into next weekend. For Southern Colorado for today, we're clearing things out and drying out. Temperatures rebounding back into the 40s and the lower 50s, so it is going to be a rather cool day. A lot of sunshine for Monday and Tuesday with high temperatures in the lower 50s. In Farmington, you'll make it to 53 degrees, 54 in Gallup, 55 in Grants. A few clouds this morning, otherwise mostly sunny skies for the afternoon hours, and the sunshine will stick around for the first half of the week before another chance for rain by Friday and Saturday with temperatures falling back into the upper 40s. In TRC, you'll make it to 66 degrees, 67 in Deming and also in Las Cruces, 68 in Alamogordo. Mostly sunny skies, winds out of the west at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures will hold in the 60s for much of the week until the end of the week when temperatures start falling back into the 50s with that disturbance moving through and also a chance for a few showers. And Roswell, you'll make it to 72, 72 also in Lovington, upper 60s in Clovis, mostly sunny, not as windy, winds out of the west at 10 to 20 miles per hour, dry conditions for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, then another chance for some rain by Thursday and Friday. In the northeast, temperatures will be in the 50s and the 60s, Breezy this morning. Those winds coming down for the afternoon and evening hours, and the winds will stay light on Monday with a high temperature of 6 degrees in Las Vegas. Around the northern mountains, it's going to be rather chilly. Temperatures only climbing into the upper 30s in Red River and Angel Fire. Lower 50s in Santa Fe. You'll make it to 53 degrees. And then in the east mountains, temperatures climbing back into the middle 50s. Breezy this morning, but again, those winds coming down for the afternoon and evening hours. And in the metro, Temperatures slightly above average for today, but not too bad for this time of the year. Around 60 degrees will stay on the comfortable side for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with a lot of sunshine. Then as that storm system moves through, the clouds will increase when picking up the winds and also dropping off our temperatures by the end of the week, only climbing into the 40s. So we're starting the week above average and then below average as we end the weekend head into next week. So enjoy those unseasonably warm temperatures yes. while they last. All right, Definitely thanks, so. Chris. Well, the